Mayang adlaw sa tanan. Today's video, we're going to take you for a close and personal of this all new 2023 Hyundai Stargazer 1.5 GLS Premium. As always, I'm going to take this Hyundai Stargazer GLS Premium for a startup and a full walk around review, showing you the most interesting features from the interior as well as the exterior. So, what are you waiting for? Let's sit back, relax, and enjoy of this review. Special thanks to Hyundai Iloilo, the team, and to their general manager, Mr. Raymond Sabanal, for making this video possible. If you have any inquiries, you may head down to their leadership or you may contact them by the contact details located in the description box below. So let's begin of our review. So here's the key fob. Let's go ahead and get started. The all-new Hyundai Stargazer GLS Premium is equipped with a remote start feature as standard. In order to start the Stargazer, make sure that the car is locked, then press and hold the start-stop button on your key fob. Visually, the side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the car, the side mirrors will automatically fold in. Meanwhile, the side mirrors will automatically fold out again once you unlock the car. If you press and hold the unlock button, the driver's side window will automatically drop down. Whereas, in order to put the driver's side window back up, just press and hold the lock button. Standard in all topping range variants of the all-new Stargazer is Hyundai's Smart Keyless Entry System. With the key fob in you, you are able to lock and unlock the vehicle by pressing the black button that can be found in both front door handles. To start the Stargazer GLS Premium, make sure that the key fob is inside the vehicle. Put your foot on the brake and hit this engine start stop button to fire up the engine. Nice. The all-new Stargazer is equipped with a Hyundai's motor-driven power steering, better known as MDPS. MDPS is an electric power steering setup which consists of a rack and pinion type. A four-spoke steering wheel of the Stargazer GLS Premium is wrapped with leather which features a sport grip to 10 and 2, gloss silver accents at the inner spokes on both sides, and mounted controls are located at the left and right spokes of the wheel. All variants of the all-new Stargazer in the Philippines gets a company's intelligent variable transmission which is also known as IVT. The IVT is sort of like a CVT or continuously variable transmission which normally it is a version of a conventional automatic gearbox but it consists of countless amount of gear ratios to make your driving experience smoother and it lessens fuel consumption. 
A manual shifting action is equipped in this IVT along with a reverse camera with active guidelines as well as your rear parking sensors. The only powertrain available in the all-new Hyundai Stargazer in the Philippines depending on what variant that you choose is a Hyundai's SmartStream G 1.5 liter dual over cam 16 valves and a naturally aspirated inline 4 cylinder gasoline engine with a multi-point fuel injection and a dual continuous variable valve timing technology. It produces 112 horsepower at 6300 rpm and 144 newton meters of torque at 4500 rpm. Fuel tank size is 40 liters with the emission rating of Euro 4. Like I mentioned before, the only transmission choice in this Korean MPV is an Intelligent Variable Transmission or IVT in short. The drivetrain of the all-new Stargazer is a front-wheel drive vehicle. In terms of its fuel consumption, the Hyundai Stargazer could run at around 16 km per liter mixed both city and highway and with that, the numbers won't lie in its efficiency which you could actually tell that this one right here can considerably as fuel efficient. Now, let's talk about what's going on here. The Stargazer. Wow, sa pangalan pa lang, nabibighani ka na. Parang isang magandang dilag ika nga. Well, going back to the story, the Stargazer is Hyundai's compact MPV which produced by Hyundai Motor Company in Indonesia way back last year and little did you know that this is the starting game of a Korean brand to enter the world of MPV. Nowadays, the MPV category not just in the Philippines but also in most Southeast Asian countries including Indonesia is getting hotter and wilder due to popular demands. This bad boy here has answered to the likes of the Toyota Avanza and Veloz, the Mitsubishi Expander, the Honda BRV, the Suzuki Ortiga, the Nissan Livina, and a whole lot more which many people don't know what to choose. Now, to break this confusion, how does this all-new Hyundai Stargazer may offer from any other MPVs available in the line? Is it worth it on your money? We'll see. As of the November last year, the date of launch, there are three different variants available for the all-new Stargazer in the Philippines. The base GL, the mid-range GLS, and the topping range GLS Premium. What we have here is the GLS Premium Topping Range and I'm pretty sure that you will experience a much pleasing features like you've never seen before. How do we indicate it? To the exterior! If you are familiar with Staria, actually your guess is right. You see, the only Stargazer looks very similar from the Hyundai Staria van, particularly the front face itself. The front fascia of the car looks dynamically simple yet futuristic and it doesn't seem to be overpowered unlike any other competitors out there. If you take a look at the front face itself, you can't see some sharp characteristics and a sexy looking design, but what I can say in this Stargazer is very cute looking, which reminds me of an animated character of the Disney's Big Hero 6. Up front, you found an automatic LED headlights, which makes the car so futuristic and what makes the car even so futuristic that entering to the intergalactic world is the LED daytime running lights. I almost forgot ladies and gentlemen that the LED headlights of the car is standard for the GLS premium variant that we've got here. On the sides you get indicators on the body colored side mirrors which are powered adjusting and folding and chrome door handles. Design wise the Stargazer side profile looks like a Suzuki's every wagon but with a sleek shape to it combined with a simple contoured lines to give a futuristic taste on this MPV. What is crazy about in this MPV is the sexy back. As you can see, the forms and shapes at the back, well, say that, welcome to the future. The rear fascia of the car is a little bit intricate but understandable where you can see that the rear lights of the car forms like a letter H shape so when you turn on the light at night, you can see the beauty on its own. If you go inside, I would see that the interior of the car is a bit more of an old school which it kind of reminds me of a Suzuki Multicab's dashboard but what makes the car so premium and dynamic are the technological aspects like the digital instrument gauge, a touchscreen head unit, and the gloss silver finish that runs across to the dash as well as a nicely padded leather seats. However, you don't get an automatic climb control for the topping range variant, so I will give a zonk to that. In this car of its size, 
the space of the spaceship is totally practical, which is perfect for your family, friends, and company. In addition, you get extra goodies like your cup holders, storages, and all other stuffs to have extra convenience for a certain road trip as expected on a typical MPV. Overall, the Stargazer is one of the unique MPV that you've never seen in any other MPVs in the market and it delivers you premium features, more advanced technology, and a futuristic flavor from the 21st century. But the MPV's convenience are still there. So, what do you think about this all-new Hyundai Stargazer? Well, all I can say is that the all-new Stargazer is a never-before-seen car that you don't see in any other MPVs in the line because Hyundai gave their standards to make this MPV so beautiful, so much attractive, and dynamically futuristic. But what I am really sad about in this car is that it doesn't have a manual transmission available in the country. So, very sorry for the manual lovers, including myself. Ah, uh, how sad I am. Well, forget it. In terms of price range, the Hyundai Stargazer is a bit expensive compared to its rivals, so it may not be the most affordable car to buy, but when it comes to its worth, you will never regret this. 16-inch two-tone alley rims are the shoes of the all-new Hyundai Stargazer GLS Premium. The first glance of the MPV's rims looks very similar like a star, which tells that you are in a Stargazer. Does it make sense? Okay, going back. The rims of this car are wrapped in Kumho Solus HS63 tires that measures 20555R16. Disc brakes and drum brakes are applied to the front and rear wheels, respectively. And for the suspension setup, front gets McPherson struts while the rear gets coupled torsion beam axle. Keep Speaker, three bottle holders, mirror controls, center locking, window controls, all four windows in this car are powered while the drive side window gets a fully automatic function in both directions. You also have your window lock. Tweeter. Little storage, fuse box, and down there is your bonnet release lever. Here is your fuel door release. The driver's seat of this all-new 2023 Hyundai Stargazer GLS Premium gets a fully manual adjustment. Got your seat back, height adjuster, and down there is your seat sliding position. You have the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side. However, it loses out on a height adjuster. All right. So let's start it up with the door closed. The all-new Stargazer GLS Premium gets an 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system head unit with different sets of media connectivity settings and 6 speakers for the sound system. The stock sound system of this all-new Hyundai Stargazer GLS Premium works absolutely smooth and fantastic. It's heart pounding uh, uh, slightly, yeah, slightly heart pounding, but it's great. Leather pad center armrest, and underneath you have a good size amount of storage area, which is quite small, but it's perfect in size. As shown earlier, hand-operated parking brake Got your illuminated cup holders A button to activate or deactivate your traction control And this button right here corresponds you to go to your different driving modes
So this all new Stargazer GS Premium gets a uh, four different driving modes. Eco, Normal, Sport, Smart. Ayos. Ayos git kayo. Storage. This one doubles up as your wireless charging. USB. 12 volt power outlet that has a maximum of uh, 120 watts of power. This car is featured with a standard aircon controls. You got your fan speed, temperature, different modes, rear, air, rear defrost, and your recirculation button right here. The rest, these are your little storages, or, or should I say, some storage that runs across all the way to the passenger side, which is very convenient feature for this kind of class. On top is your two air vents in the middle has a switch. So this is the infotainment system of the all new 2023 Hyundai Stargazer GLS Premium. And I would say that the the screen itself is very high resolution and it's pretty easy to use. No, it's very responsive how uh, by the way. And currently you are in a Bluetooth audio streaming with your current song title information, your uh, the name of your device, artist, album, uh, uh, audio art right here, or uh, media image, seek tracks, plain pause, song duration. You can change your device right here using this button right here. Go to your menu. Here are your selective menu sources. You got your media sources, change device, sound settings. Uh, user's manual on web using the QR code you can actually put the display off very nice so this is your media sources on your media sources you got your FM AM Bluetooth audio streaming USB music Android Auto and Apple CarPlay which by the way this car is featured with an Apple CarPlay and Android Auto to go to your home menu hit this button so this is your home menu This is your device connections via the phone projection and Bluetooth uh, connection settings. So here is your uh, Bluetooth connectivity settings. You got your Bluetooth connections. You can pair device by adding new one. Auto connection priority, privacy mode, Bluetooth uh, system info. Right. Where do we go first? Here, all menus. Now, on your all menus, you have your different sets of uh, options. You've got your phone, media, quiet mode, phone projection, voice memo, users manual, setup, radio, and all kinds of stuff. Now, let's go to your phone. So, here's your phone menu. You got your uh, call history. Favorites, uh, contacts, and your dial pads. Quiet mode. Voice memo. Users manual via the QR code. Radio. Lastly, go to your setup. Now on your setup, you got your sound settings, general settings, Wi-Fi, device connections, display, and your buttons. First, let's go to the sound. Now here's your sound uh, settings. You got your premium sound via the speed dependent volume control. You can uh, select what kind of options that you want on your sound system. Start off volume limit. Positions to your sound system whereby where you can calibrate which uh, which uh, sound uh, isolation that you want to go for your tone you can adjust the treble mid-range bass whatsoever there's the center radio noise guidance driver assist warning and all kinds of stuff 
for the general settings SW info update system info date and time settings language keyboard media options you can res reset it uh, to default Wi-Fi device connections as I showed you before display settings on your display you got your illumination blue light filter screen saver audio system on and off and lastly your buttons on your button settings you got your custom button for audio you can choose phone projection quiet mode display on and off or nothing else to your steering wheel and mode button for your steering wheel nothing else now these are your shortcut buttons for your uh, uh, your for, for your various settings I mean various menus phone media and setup you can edit the left widget right widget home icons and go to your users manual as usual well on a jolly note on a jolly note that's pretty much it on this infotainment system of the uh, all new 2023 Hyundai Stargazer GLS Premium to the right of your screen got your seek tracks set up that you can go to your settings uh, tuning knob right here radio media your favorite favorites button and right here is your volume power knob Your light indicator controls. On the steering wheel, you got your voice recognition system, mode button, volume controls, seek track, telephone button for your Bluetooth uh, connectivity menu, and your favorites button. While on the right side is your selective dials. Uh, these sets of buttons right here for your cruise control, that plus and minus right here. And these and your up and down arrows and your OK button right here. Now these sets of buttons right here, as you can see, correspond you to control the multi-information display right within the instrument gauge. Well, on the right side is your wiper controls. Now, the steering wheel on this car gets a manual tilt and telescopic. You adjust it using this lever right here. There you go. Power folding side mirrors. Mabilis yung response niya. Galing. Central locking. Electronic. No grip handle for the driver's side located at the ceiling. The driver's side does get a sun visor. Front cabin light and your manual dimming rear view mirror. Front passenger side sun visor with a vanity mirror. You have grip handle on the ceiling for the front passenger side.
a cubby right there. And the star of the show for the front passenger side is your nicely decent sized glove box. All right. So that's it. So that's it for this one. We can put this vehicle off and continue with the rest of our review. Got your speaker right here, three bottle holders with an additional bottle holder right here or you can serve it as your cup holder which is right next or just ahead of your window control located right here. To have access at the last row, use this lever, pull it, and then the middle row seat folds and tumbles in one piece. One thing is for sure that you can able to use this lever to recline your middle row seat back. As I opened the rear door of the all new Hyundai Stargazer, I couldn't imagine that the rear doors of the car opens very wide at almost 90 degree angle which enables you to have easy access upon getting in and out. And what is really surprising in this car is that it receives a generous amount of space at the back like in the middle row. All I can say that you will enjoy your road trip adventure at the back of the all-new Stargazer combined with these nicely supportive and comfortable leatherette seats. Also, the middle row seat slides in a back and forth direction to adjust some space whichever you desire. There are storage pockets found in both front seat backs and in the middle, you get some storage together with your two USB charging ports. On the front passenger side seat back, there is a small table with a cup holder slot which you can actually place your meal, a book that you read, or a device that you will enjoy about. It is a nice convenient feature for some passengers going on a long adventure trip or some business purposes. On both sides of the rear located at the ceiling are grip handles with a coat hook on the right portion and here you get four air vents with a two setting mode fan speed control. Last but not the least, this car gets a center armrest. Climbing at the rearmost seats of the car is actually easy thanks to its wide opening doors and a fold and tumbling action of the middle row seats. The space at the rearmost seats in my case fits perfectly fine for an average size adults but the best candidate to be seated at the last row are short individual or children. However, you can able to move the middle row seat a bit forward for some extra space that you would prefer. Toys found at the back are your cup holders and storages on both sides. There is a 12 volt power outlet that is located on the left portion. Finally, a cabin light is located in the middle on top. Boot space of the Hyundai Stargazer when all the rear seats in place measures approximately 200 liters. Fold down the third row seats and this will create at around 585 liters of boot space. And once all the rear seats are folded down, the maximum cargo capacity of the Stargazer is roughly around more than a thousand liters of space. Underneath at the boot floor are your storage areas. The all-new Stargazer GLS Premium is equipped with the Hyundai's SmartSense technology which includes forward collision avoidance assist, blind spot collision avoidance assist, rear occupant alert, lane keep assist, rear view monitor, high beam assist, rear cross traffic collision avoidance assist, 
driver attention warning, safe exit warning, reverse parking distance warning, and lane following assist. The rest of the safety features are 6 airbags, anti-lock braking system, electronic stability control, hill start assist control, tire pressure monitoring system, manual speed limit assist, and child seats anchors for the rear seats. Thank you for tuning in to the startup and a full walk around review of this all new 2023 Hyundai Stargazer GLS Premium that is mated to an IVT or Intelligent Variable Transmission. I hope you like this video and if you do, make sure hit thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're subscribed to my channel, hit the notification bell button to get notified for my latest updates. And don't forget, follow all of my social media platforms. As always, I'll see you next time with four more latest videos on YouTube. God bless you, more power, I love you all, and mabuhay. Makikita mo ako sa kalsada with the homies Kulang kami kasi yung ibahan ng the police Pilipinas hustler, peso, peso, peso Mga Pinay ko magkakilala, beso, beso Sabi niya ako'y koy alam kong bi